in this video we'll be discussing about the nodal signaling pathway this signaling pathway drives mesoendoderm induction patterning of nervous system and determination of dorsal ventral axis in vertebrates we see the components of nodal signaling pathway includes nodal protein which is signaling molecule and the receptor for these signaling molecules are activin type 1 and activin type 2 now let's get to the pathway directly here in this diagram we have the cell membrane and the nucleus having dna in it on the cell membrane we can see we have the inactive activin receptors in the form of monomers like we have type 1 and type 2 form as shown in the diagram and then we have the signaling molecule which is nodal protein but this is immature protein yet and it needs some enzymes to make it active and for this we have the purine and paste convertase enzymes which acts on nodal immature protein and converts it into mature nodal protein as shown in the animation then this nodal protein comes in and binds with the activin receptors as shown in the diagram upon ligand binding we get the dimerization of activin monomers that type 1 and type 2 receptors form a stable complex after ligand binding here we see the type 1 receptor gets phosphorylated through the kinase activity of type 2 receptor and now this receptor is phosphorylated and active furthermore this active receptor then recruits the SMAD23 complex as shown in the diagram upon recruitment these SMAD23 complex gets phosphorylated and in the next step COSMAD or SMAD4 is recruited towards the SMAD complex and gets activated so ultimately we get the SMAD23 and SMAD4 complex which is the phosphorylated and active form this complex gets into the nucleus where it combines with p53 mixer and fox h1 transcription factors as shown in the diagram upon binding with these transcription factors it drives the transcription of genes involved in mesoendodermal induction determination and patterning in vertebrates and through this nodal signaling pathway we get the transcription of target genes like nodal lefty crr1 Hoxa 2, SOX 17, and PITX2. And there are many other genes which are expressed through this nodal signaling pathway. Among all these genes, the lefty proteins function as an antagonist of nodal signaling pathway. So we can say this lefty protein acts as an inhibitory protein for nodal signaling pathway in a negative feedback manner. So this is how nodal signaling pathway mediates the mesoendoderm induction patterning of nervous system and determination of dorsal ventral axis in vertebrates during the embryogenesis. I hope you like the video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. You can support my work on Patreon or YouTube and make sure to subscribe to this channel. Thanks.